Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a tiny motorhome. Easy to drive, easy to park, but when it's all opened up, it's huge with a ton of storage. This is the 2023 Thor 4 Winds model is 24F. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Four Winds and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be showing you guys this awesome small motorhome, easy to drive the four winds. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good, Matt. I'm so happy to be back in Florida. Yes! Back in the warm weather. And you know, I'm always excited to see new RVs. Yes, definitely. This is definitely one of the best RVs out there, Andrea. And it's just the amount of storage, once you guys see the inside, you're gonna absolutely love it. Let's begin! Model is Thor 4 Winds 24F. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 25 feet 2 inches. This is the Thor 4 Winds. This is sister products to the Thor Chateau. They do that so one dealership can sell 4 Winds and the dealership across the street sells Chateau. We actually sell both throughout General RV. Just in Ocala, it's the 4 Winds, where if you go to like Richmond, it's the Chateau. You know what I'm saying? Right up front, we do have a very nice bunk over the cab. This is powered on an E450 chassis, Andrea. I love that. That means it has a 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the hand cooked. Dynapros. I love those. ALT 225-75 R16. When you come on down the side, you're going to see the white mirrors right here. And there is no side cameras on this motorhome. Coming on down, this is a very nice motorhome. Because it's sore, they're giving you the 12-year structural warranty, six-year lamination warranty, with a huge power awning with LED lights. I like that. Coming on down here, we do have our potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Yes, ma'am. Interesting right. that it's there, right? Yeah, always, always. Right here, we have a little bit of power on the outside. You know, it's funny that you say that. A lot of times with these smaller motorhomes, they just gotta put it where it can fit. You know what I'm saying? They don't have the luxury of kind of custom making it themselves. Right there, we got some storage here. Coming on down here, a little bit more storage here. Very nice. And then coming around the back, Andrea, we do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. 8,000 pound hitch. Now, I'm not saying you can tow 8,000 pounds of this motorhome. You're good with at least 5,000 pounds. Any more weight than that, you always must. No before you tow. Yes, ma'am. Very nice rear back here. And then back there, Andrea, the rear tail light design, there is a backup camera integrated into that. And we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. Andrea. Let's go up there and take a look. <laughs> you Careful, got it. Matt. Here we go now. Hold on. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. Right there is prep for the solar. You have places for you to put max air fans, wine guard, digital antenna, and it is a single air conditioning unit. Two steps, Matt. Last step. Here we go now. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up on the driver's side. Right there is our fuel fill up. Black tank flush, what that does is it helps clean your black tank. And then that's where you dump your black and gray tank. Oh, thank goodness. Look at this storage. Wow, I yes. was beginning to think there was none. Andrea, it's good storage on the outside for a small motorhome. 30 amp. I promise you, it's even better on the inside. Coax here, and yes, Andrea, correct, it is 30 amp. And then look at this. Hmm. A little bit more storage right there. Oh my gosh. You know why? Wow. You can never have enough, especially in a small motorhome. Coming on down here, we have your city water connection, outdoor shower, and then here is your propane tank. It's a 40 gallon propane tank. And then Miss Jennifer, if you could, bing! Please put all the specifications about this motorhome right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. A little bit more storage. 
an Onan 4000 generator. I love how it's vented through. And then right here's your water heater and look how they continue to I could to barely decal. tell. You know what I'm saying? And then to wrap it all Let's up. Uh oh, up. there's a bee there. That's a love bug. Oh, is it? Area. I'm so glad we don't have to see these anymore. I mean, I'm seeing it. I know, but you know what I mean. When we lived here, it was awful. Yeah, they were it's everywhere. About to be love bug season. All right, and so then, here, uh, nice step there to get in. Little cubbies there. Okay. It's love bug season. Do 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 do. You won't say that when they're all, all over your truck eating your paint. Yeah, hard in the paint. <laughs> Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. We sore today? Yes, ma'am. All right. We still skipping. Go on in. Uh, it's probably on the door. All right, here we are. Let me do a 360. Is this a full wall slide? Sure is. All right, guys, so as you can see, plenty of walkway here with the slide in, and you can definitely open the fridge. It looks like a folding bed, so you cannot use that with the slide in. And then there is the bathroom. Andrea. Yes. 3,049 pounds. Wow, that's a lot for this little motorhome. Because it sits on the E450. And Andrea, we have a huge wall slide, so let's get that open. And while we do, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Well, Andrea, was I kidding when I said it's big and spacious? You were not. This is absolutely phenomenal. Let's get started up front here, Andrea. Right up here, we got the 7.3 liter V8. New steering wheel, look at that tire pressure. You can, you can see it. You can check your fuel economy and everything in here. You could also control your volume, um, cruise control, everything that you want right here is very nice. You got power windows, power locks, and I'm looking at everything on the screen right here. Here's your radio. Uh, this unit does have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth. You can take a look at your camera, see what's going on behind you. You got your cup holders here and everything, and then Andrea. What do you got going on up there? It's very comfortable. You know, I have I have plenty of leg space. The seat does recline back, which oh, is good. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I mean, this is a more comfortable seat than I've sat in. Yeah, for sure. And I really like how it sits on the E450. You know, there's no engine difference between the uh, E450, 350, and 450. They're both the 7.3 liter V8, but uh, you, you just get the higher cargo carrying capacity with the E450. And then Andrea, up here, we have a very nice bunk over the cab. This fills in, does come with privacy shades for right here. The bunk over the cab holds 800 pounds. And then there is a privacy curtain back there. It's because that pad's right there. Yeah. But and as you can see, the TV would come out. Yep, it goes there and then it swings all the way out. You know what I'm saying? So okay. very, very nice, big screen TV too. You got a USB over here and a little cubby. Yes, ma'am. And then above, uh, right there, above the door, the cabinet, yes. Yep, we have a cabinet. This is where you can put like a DVD player for that television. Right over here is our touch panels for your slide out control. You're able to see your tanks. Underneath here, we have some more light switches. This unit does not have auto leveling, but it does have electric stabilizing. And that's where you do it there. And then also the solar prep. And then directly across Andrea, Let's take a look at these valances. America wants to know, 
Here's the valances. Approved. Bing. Oh, what was that? Guys, I I gotta say, Thor, it's time to change your valances. But you still like them. I, I still like them, but of course they've been in this these floor plans for a long time. Andre, that was a so, very unenthusiastic bing. Yeah, Can you give I'm me a new sorry. bing? Bing! There you go. Thank you so much. Right over here, we do have the white cabinetry with the storage all the way above. I don't think it's white, Matt. If you can get that. Is it like that taupey color? I think it is. Andrea, <laughs> I'm not here to argue with you. It's white, you know, all white. Okay. Taupey white, dinosaur tooth white. White is white. It's, it's, it's just white. Okay. It's just a white cabinet. It's I, beg, white. I beg to differ, Matt. It's, it's not a white. white. Cabinet. Okay. <laughs> right here, we do have lights underneath with speakers nice. underneath right there and big windows you do have those accordion blinds wireless charger yeah you know how we feel about that right here is the uh qr code if you guys want to learn more about four winds as andre said we do have a wireless charger here cup holders here and this dinette does drop down to make a bed something really nice see, is over there see a car seat tether yes ma'am and then we do have storage underneath this side of the dinette Oh, and then here is the sink fillers. So let me fill that for Miss Andrea. Right there and there. Uh, I did mention the table does drop down to make a bed, and there is power underneath the table right there. Okay. Andrea, show us this awesome kitchen. All right, but I see that it has a counter extension here. Very so that's nice. nice. And then we've got this cabinet above with adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. Nice big window here. And then we have this nice residential style sink. Very good. Extension there. Yes. Okay. And then let's see if they gave us a trash can. Oh, nope. Oh, uh, wham, wham. A little good, bit of storage though. space for a little one. And then we got a place for sponges, a drawer here. Yes. And then another drawer here. Yes. Up here we got a cabinet. Okay. And then, is this a microwave? It yeah. sure is. Yeah, the microwave. They gave you a hood range. Hood range. Then we've got the three burner propane Furion cooktop. Yes, I love that. Now, are they gonna trick me again or is this really an oven? Uh, no, that's a okay. real deal. It's the real deal <laughs> that's oven. That's good. And then we got another drawer here. Yes. Oh my gosh. Look at that. What is this? Oh, it's a pantry. Oh, wow. Wow, I love this. I can't believe they, they have this in here. So many times I see it mixed in with the wardrobe. Yeah. So I'm really happy about this. Above, we've got another cabinet. Very nice. Then we've got the two-way Dometic refrigerator. Yes, ma'am, that fridge runs off both propane and electric. And then behind me, what's going on? That's gonna be combo oh space, Andrea. Oh my gosh, look how deep that is. Yes. And it does have an adjustable shelf back there. Yes. Pretty good wardrobe for in here. It's wardrobe or pantry. You know, with these small motor homes, uh, you can definitely Two set doors. it accordingly to how you can. Oh, there's the hey! trash can. <laughs> That's a $156 trash it can. It sure is. All right. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this? Yes. MSR, can you take a step down, please? Why do I seem so much taller? There you go. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here, stock number 270165 is $138,526. Andrea, MSRP. I come to the dealership a lot. We work for General RV. And when I see dealerships at the showroom, what's the one thing they always ask me? What do they want from me? The price. Not just the price, but... Yeah, the best price in America. The best price in America? Andrea, 35% off MSRP to a sale price of $89,995 for a 2023 Class C with a full wall slide on an E450. Go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. Andrea, we've linked the website down in the YouTube description down below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033 or come into the dealership. However you guys have to come in, come on in, talk to a member of our team, 
and our team is going to get you the absolute best price in America. Andrea, let's continue on to this bedroom. All right, coming on into this bedroom, Andrea, first and foremost, it is a fold up bed. Womp, womp. There's just so much you can do with only a 25 foot footprint. You know what I'm saying? Right there, that's where your TV goes. I do love how we have a rear window there. Here's also where your air conditioning controls are. If you come over on this side, you're gonna see that we do have plenty of power and USB options. Three nice white cabinets. Very nice, or we can call it saber tooth tiger white. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, very nice storage there. We have a nice headboard. I'm liking the pillows and the color of the decor selection. And you do have a window on that side there. No window right here because again, here's where that pantry slash wardrobe space is. And there is no storage under the bed. Now we do have this privacy curtain. This is so if you do have guests, uh, you're not gonna get a full wall, but you know, they're at least not gonna be standing like this in the middle of the night watching you. you Hopefully you not. Hope. You hope not, you know. I don't know, hey, I don't know who you guys hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> but and then it's nice you just go like this yeah bada -bing, it's, bada -boom, it's pretty easy and it stores out the way and if somebody really hates that it's just six screws you just take it out and then coming on in here in the bathroom andrea very very wow, good size that shower. is a very big step up it's a good size shower andrea it's a 24 by 36 really does get the job done i love this knotless door you know what i'm saying very very nice and i'm loving this toilet placement we're gonna show that in just a moment got a good medicine cabinet right there yeah nice little sink they got storage under there yes and then oh liquefied the absolute best brand of black tank treatment in the rv industry andrea go to primepoopingposition.com to pick up a bottle today and thank you everybody who has purchased it please make sure you leave reviews and we appreciate everybody's yes. honest reviews Okay, Andrea. Oh, it's a pedestal. Pour some toilet. It's a pedestal. I'm hating the pedestal, but here's what I'm saying. You listening? This I could easily fail this. I could I, I could pass it, I could fail this. Here's what I will say. Because of the floor plan we're in, most of the other manufacturers are putting the toilet there. So your dang foot sticking out. This one I am sitting a little high up, but Andrea, I'm good because the angle of the dangle, Andrea. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. I don't think I've seen you pass one on a motorhome this small before. I mean, it happens every once in a while. But but again, you got to get creative. Yeah. Look at the wall. Look at the angle. You, you know hear what I'm that, saying? everybody? Make sure you take notes <laughs> to all the other manufacturers. It's true. I've seen like your foot sticking out. And, right. You know, like you said, you can barely close the door. Those SOBs better listen. <laughs> some other brands yes <laughs> well andrea that's it that's the review now before everybody leaves it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome three things we just don't like andrea what do we do first Ooh, i think we should do three things that we dislike about it first i'm gonna let you go first oh wow andrea first i gotta say this step what's that I am very clumsy. For me, I would forget it's there and probably fall face first. Andrea, it is a okay. I would say that's not a deal breaker, but yes. Yes. You there have is to be aware. other brands that have the flush floor, and I'm not a huge fan of that step up either. But again, maybe that's why they were able to get so much storage. And maybe that's why they were able to give you a prime poop position. I don't know. But again, that is a great dislike for number one. Andrea, dislike number two for me is gonna be those twisty doors on the outside. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, I'm, I've really never been a big fan of that. And so for that to be your primary way of latching stuff up while you're driving down the road, again, they've done such a good job of storage. I wish it was the slam latch doors. That's number two. And then Andre, do you have a third dislike? Uh, I have a third dislike, but it's kind of small. Well, tell us and maybe I'll combo it. Um, I'm just not a fan of the fold up bed. I get why yep. it's there, I yep. understand. It makes it much more spacious in yep. here, but it'd be so perfect if it was, you know, a regular bed. Andrea, you've knocked it on the head. The problem is yeah. when you want to be at 25 feet, two inches, it has to be the fold up bed. So that's where that stinks. But again, that also leads to three things we love about this motorhome. Andre, may I go first? Sure. I'm gonna say how small and easy to drive. Again, 
25-2 tip to tip. I'm gonna combo that, Andre. Look at this. With the huge full wall slide. Again, I 100% agree. I don't like the fold up bed either, but to have a motorhome this small that's this spacious on the inside, it's fan freaking tastic. That is like number one. Andrea, what's like number two? Like number two for me is going to be the fact that you have such a big bunker with the cab. Yes, ma'am. 800 pounds. Whoa. And with this being so small, I mean, that's that's a good amount of space right there. To combo that with the cargo carrying yes. capacity of 3,000, that's fan freaking tastic. Andrea, that's number two. And then number three, huh? Here's what I'm gonna say. I would say the storage. I was actually really surprised with the storage oh, yeah. on the outside. Here, outside, pantry, inside, wardrobe. wardrobe. Andrea, I can't say it enough times. For a small motorhome to pack this much of a punch, what's in your lunch? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's it, Andrea. That's the review. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Do me a huge favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome, three things you don't like about this motorhome. Thor reads all the comments, and so it's your feedback that's going to help improve this product and all products in the RV industry. Andrea, what do you want to say? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure that if you, you want to look at this motorhome, you click the link down below. Yes, go to generalrv.com. Yes. Slash Matt's Cash. And then you could call 866-844. Oh, I did it again. 844-969-4033. Andrea, click the link, call the number. However, get in contact with us because our team's going to get you. The best price in America. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.